Today I've got film on a towing system that I set up for our motorhome to pull our small Jeep. I'll show you the uh, basic components with an explanation at the end of the video on why I chose that particular product to tow the Jeep. What follows is a tutorial from the nice folks that I purchased the tow bar from on how they hooked it up to their car and then I'll go into our system and show you what our setup is. This is the Blue Ox tow bar which will attach to the tow plate of the tow vehicle, in my case the Jeep. The braking mechanism is called Ready Brake and I will explain that at the end of the video and why I chose to go with the Ready Brake instead of the Blue Ox braking system. go in there. Okay. Uh, we've got tow tabs that are going to go in there. These are for your safety cables. This is your electric hookup. Okay. And that's for your breakaway system. Okay. For the brake system. So I'm going to show you how to get this stuff started. And so you think that we should put a, a lock, like an actual padlock? Yeah, I mean, we sell them inside, yeah. Okay. We sell a lock, a couple of locks that will go through there. We can, you know, we can get... Okay. The cable, the safety cable, gets hooked up this way, and it gets crisscrossed to the other side. And then this other cable gets crisscrossed to the other side. Basically what that's for is if you were to keep it up on this and you drove with it, it prevents those arms from sliding in and out. Okay. Right? Back and forth. But when you're carrying it, you slide your arms in so they don't Okay. So when you Okay, is that here? Okay. Like I said, there's only one way to put it in. If you go to try to put it in the wrong way, it ain't gonna let you. So tabs up. Tabs up, okay. This goes on top, on top of the top. Of the top bar. Yeah. And then, right here, yep. same thing. It's not going to let you put it in the wrong way. Tab up. Tab up. Pull this up. There we go. So that that. in place. Okay. And that's going to control your lights. Okay. Okay. Next, um, this lanyard. Okay. Um, this is for the breakaway. This is for the uh, supplemental brake system. Okay. So we just clip this on here. Okay. Um, this can uh, go on top as well. Okay. This can go straight across. It can go in the same spot as this can go into. And that doesn't, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that goes on top. Oh, it actually goes on top. That makes sense. Do you do? It's not going to be big enough. Your thing is too big. That's fine, we'll keep it there for now and I'll get you a different loop. Okay. So, that goes there. Mm -hmm. It just goes straight across. Um, what that is, is is if all this stuff broke while you're driving, yeah. it would pull this little pin yeah. and then activate the brakes and slow the car down. Okay. So, so that's a fail safe. Like, yeah, so let me, uh, much more let me go grab a, a thing that we can okay. that a little bit bigger. And it's not gonna be like a, a humongous movement it's only gonna be like a tiny little, you know, inch, okay. inch back and inch forward. Okay. That. I guess it's just a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay. See, see what I mean? Yep. They actually, so, I think both of them. Both okay. Yeah. Well, see one. Now for the tow car hookup procedure. Number one, hook up the ready brake to the RV. Look up ready brake online if you have questions on how it works. It's an all mechanical device. 
Number two, you'll hook the tow bar up to the ready brake. Number three, you'll hook the tow bar up to the vehicle. In my case, the Jeep already had a tow plate attached to the vehicle. Number four, apply the safety chains on both sides of the hitch receiver of the motorhome. Number five, plug in the light cable from the seven pin port to the six pin port from the RV to the Jeep. Number six, attach the brake cable. Number seven, attach the breakaway cable, which is red. This is in case of an emergency and everything detaches from the motorhome, it will stop the Jeep in its tracks. Number eight, put the vehicle into freewheeling mode. Here you'll have to consult your owner's manual for the proper steps. It's critical that this is done and tested before you leave so there's no transmission damage. Make sure that you get locking pins. What you see here with the orange color are four locking pins that I purchased on Amazon used. Somebody else returned them. Uh, they were around $55, brand new. They're about $85. <clears throat> These locking pins will make sure nobody steals your stuff. There are two at 5 8 inch diameter. That's for the receiver hitch on the RV and to put the tow bar on the ready brake. Two are 1 half inch. That's to attach the tow bar here to the tow plate on the tow vehicle. In my case, the Jeep. All are keyed alike, so you only need one key but they send you two keys for each one so you have plenty of spare keys. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of the um, towing system to pull a tow vehicle. Uh, leave any questions in the comments below and if you will kindly like and subscribe I'd greatly appreciate it. Until next time We'll see you down the road.